Good afternoon. Welcome to Concord, North Carolina, home of Mike Wallace Racing. I'm George Johnson, the Bonanza Man, and today we're here to show you a beautiful prime condition 1982 Baron 58, November 7 Mike Whiskey. Let's take a look. Mike, how long have you owned this airplane? George, I've owned this airplane since about 2004, and what happened, a very good friend of mine, Jer Jerry Goad, who's a professional pilot, and I went in partners on it, and we bought the airplane out of Boston, Massachusetts. He, Jerry and I, Jerry had flown my King Air for me quite a bit, and I don't know nothing about an airplane except how it gets, goes from point A to point B, and he took care of flying it, and he says, hey, you want to buy an airplane together? And I said, sure. So the uniqueness of, we bought this airplane, and when we bought it, it didn't have a complete set of logbooks with it. And you look at me and go, what do you mean it didn't have a complete set of logbooks? That's a yeah. weird way to buy an airplane. Well, it was, but we did a lot of searching and talked to the service people that taken care of what it was. There was a, a business that had just changed hands and somewhere they got misplaced. And uh, we re recreated some logbooks, had the service people recreate them. And got the airplane, flew it for a few years. And then lo and behold, I get a phone call from the former pilot of the airplane says, hey, is this Mike Wallace owns such and such airplane? I go, yes, sir. Number's been changed to seven Mike Whiskey, yep. He says, I have all the log books for your airplane. And wow. I, I fell over and uh, called Jerry and he couldn't believe it. But the end result, we've got a great airplane, complete set of log books. Some have been recreated, but all are not recreated, but duplicated in a fashion. But since I personally have owned the airplane, Jerry go, we put paint on it, we've interiored it, we took the IO 520 engines, rebuilt them to the IO 550s, so it's got good cruise speed, airplane's nice, a little heartfelt, you know, I'm a NASCAR driver, I like to go fast from point A to point B, and uh, I put together what I think is a really nice airplane, and, and I'm kind of torn between selling it and not selling it, but, uh, you know, I think there might be a great owner out there, would rather, probably rather have it more than I do right now, and uh, Heck, if they buy it, they can come join me in a NASCAR race some weekend. That sounds great. Yeah. November 7 Mike Whiskey is a special 50th anniversary edition. This has the gold medallions and all the 50th anniversary uh, items that were added to the airplane in 1982. In addition to that, it has stainless steel screws and fasteners, and the paint and interior are in beautiful condition. They were both done in 2007. These engines were converted to IO 550 300 horsepower engines and these engines only have 440 hours since major overhaul. Landmark Aviation did the last annual in February of 2012 and at the annual these engines all the compressions were in the 70s. November 7 Mike Whiskey has VGs. These lower your stall speed and lower your velocity minimum control and make it a safer airplane. In addition to this it has full de-ice boots plus hot props and a heated windshield segment so it will get you out of ice if you happen to get into it. November 7 Mike Whiskey is a very fast airplane. Not only have the engines been upgraded to 300 horsepower, but it has the flap and aileron gap seals to uh, add more efficiency and more speed. The paint and interior on 7 Mike Whiskey are in excellent condition. The airplane has always been hangered and you can really tell it shows it. Uh, Mike Wallace keeps this airplane in outstanding condition. It's had great maintenance and great care. The Baron 58 has the big double cargo doors and a very spacious interior. Let's take a look. November 7 Mike Whiskey has beautiful two-tone leather seats that are in great condition. Also beautiful side walls, everything is very nice. Beautiful cabin table, everything's in great condition. Even the headliner is, uh, looks brand new. So it's a really nice interior. It's also very roomy, I'm about six feet tall and I've got plenty of head room, plenty of leg room, and it's almost like sitting in an armchair in my living room. November 7 Mike Whiskey has a nice instrument panel with a lot of equipment. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the pilot side. Starting over here, we have your instrument air gauge, and then your airspeed indicator, and then your artificial horizon, and this houses your flight director, as you can see coming up, and then your altimeter, and above this, you have your DME. On the second row, you have your two-minute turn coordinator, 
This is your ADF indicator and also an RMI. And then you have a King KCS 55A slaved HSI. And then your vertical speed indicator. Down here is your autopilot. This airplane has the King KFC 200 autopilot flight director slaved HSI system. Beside this, you have a WX-1000 Plus storm scope and your number two nav indicator, and you'll notice that it has dual glide slopes. In the center of the panel, we have your engine gauges, your fuel gauges, and a digital fuel flow system. Now let's take a look at your avionics stack. At the top, we have your King KMA-24 audio panel with your three-light marker beacon. Below this, we have a Bendix color radar, and this has vertical profile color radar. It's a new generation radar. Below this, we have a King KLN-90B IFR GPS system. The airplane is equipped with King Gold Crown comms and navs, and these are comms and navs that would be, have been in a much larger airplane like a King Air. Below this, we have a King KT-76 new generation transponder. This is the KT-76C. The airplane is equipped with factory air conditioning, as you can see from the air conditioning vents. To the right side of the avionics stack, we have a second turn coordinator and your EGTs. Then we have a second artificial horizon, which is electric, and your uh, de-ice boot pressure. Below this is your instrument uh, gauges for your engines, uh, your oil pressure, cylinder head temperature, and oil temperature. Below this we have a standby altimeter and a standby airspeed indicator. And then we have your prop amp indicator for your hot props and then your hour meter that shows the total time on the airplane. The airplane is also equipped with a King Gold Crown ADF and King Gold Crown transponder is your number two transponder, so it has dual transponders. You'll notice it also has prop sync. The airplane is equipped with a yoke mounted GPS 396 by Garmin, and this has weather and a color moving map. Seven Mike Whiskey is equipped with a vertical card compass system, and you can see the hot windshield segment behind it. It also has rose and sun visors, and the front seats are wired for noise canceling Bose headsets, and the airplane actually comes with two Bose headsets. Uh, and as you can see, the windows are in very good condition. Uh, overall, and as is the airplane. This airplane is really nice for a 1982 model. To keep the airplane quiet, it also has a handheld pump-up door seal. If you want a great buy and a beautiful 1982 Baron 58, come visit us in Concord, North Carolina to see November 7 Mike Whiskey. This airplane has very low time engines that have been converted to IO550 300 horsepower. It has great avionics with a King KFC 200 autopilot flight director slaved HSI system, a color vertical profile radar, an IFR certified GPS, and lots more equipment. In addition, the paint and interior on this airplane are outstanding. Visit us in Concord, North Carolina to see this airplane or give Carolina Aircraft a call at 336 665-0300 and be sure to visit carolinaaircraft.com to see this beautiful Baron 58 and our other nice Barons and Bonanzas. Have a great day!